Hello, calculus fans. All right, we've got a top view here of a couple of tugboats and a large ship. Those tugboats are pulling the large ship into port. Now, the tugboats are pulling at an angle. The top tugboat is pulling at an unknown angle. In fact, that's the thing that we're going to try to compute. That top tugboat exerts a force of 4,000 newtons that it's pulling. The tugboat at the bottom is exerting a force of 3,200 newtons. And the angle that the bottom tugboat is pulling on is 30 degrees. The top one, we don't know. What we do know is that when we put all these forces together, that the large ship is moving directly to the right, or it's moving horizontally, at least in this picture. I guess if we took a north, south, east, west perspective, we would say that the large ship is moving directly east. All right, so our goal is to find the angle theta that the top t tugboat is pulling at. Okay, let's think of the forces of the tugboats as vectors. And we'll resolve each one of these vectors into i and j components. Now let's use some notation here. We'll say that T1 and T2 are the forces of the larger and the smaller tugs, respectively. The larger tug in the picture was the one that was on top. T T2 is the force for the smaller tug. This is an important thing that you should be used to doing, which is creating some variables where appropriate that don't necessarily exist in the original problem. If you're going to do mathematics, sometimes you need to introduce some variables or quantities that are not in the problem statement. All right, let's use some right angle trigonometry. We'll be able to resolve T1 and T2 into components. T1 will be 4,000 cosine theta i plus 4,000 sine theta j, whereas T2 is 3,200 cosine 30 degrees i minus 3,200 sine 30 degrees j. Notice that this one is minus because the j component of the T2 vector is negative since it's pointing down into the fourth quadrant. Notice that the total force acting on the ship is T1 plus T2, and the motion of the boat is horizontal. That means there's no up and down component. The j component of the sum must be zero. So we'll set those two, the sum of those, equal to zero and solve for theta. All right, so we'll take the y components and add them up and set them equal to zero. And we'll ignore the j. We're just setting the coefficients of those components. So we get 4,000 sine theta minus 3,200 sine 30 degrees is equal to zero. So sine theta is equal to 3,200 times a half over 4,000. And if we work out what theta is, we get approximately 23.58 degrees. So that gives us the angle on the tugboat with the unknown angle. Okay, that's all for now.